All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Belly Legal. And we are going to kick things off. We have got that cage set up. It is the match between these two, Jerry Lynn and Rob Van Dam. It is a two out of three falls steel cage. The rules are simple. Pinfalls and submissions, escaping the cage does absolutely nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, I will admit, I feel like absolute crap as someone in Twitch is complaining that they can't hear me, so give me a second to fix that quickly. There we go, that should be Twitch fixed. <laughs> Don't know what's going on with that headset recently. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get into this. I am absolutely loaded with a cold right now, but we're going to try and get through this, so I'll apologise for any little sniffles or anything like that. I know that can sound quite disgusting on a microphone, so I do apologise, but I'll try my hardest not to do anything like that. So, ladies and gentlemen, man, this is a big grudge here. Rob Van Dam <coughs> seems to think that he is... Bigger than ECW, he's better than ECW. He thinks the television title is the number one championship because he holds it. And well, tonight it is two out of three falls inside this cage. We are in New York, man. We are in a good sized building here. We have got a crowd for this show. Jerry Lennon, Rob Van Dam, man, this is a rivalry that goes back a long way. As here we go with these two. And you see this cage has been set up as Jerry Lynn wasted no time here as RVD got him up. Oh, God, and the cage is used as a weapon for the first time tonight. As RVD now, God, man, with that suplex there. Rob Van Dam, man, him and Jerry Lynn, they had a hell of a match all of a few weeks ago. As whoa, Jerry Lynn though, caught him there. And oh God, man, nearly. And we're into the corner here. As Jerry Lynn, and you see the... You see what Rob Van Dam's wearing, man, he's got WCW, WWF logos on that attire. And Jerry Lynn has got him up on the shoulders here. And, oh, God, down he goes. Yes, to the person in Twitch. Two out of three falls in a steel cage. Go into custom match settings and see what kind of matches you can make. <laughs> Hell, that's how we ended up with All Out War. As RVD, the spin kick there. Oh, didn't catch that one. Jerry Lynn with a little shot of his own. And, well, oh, RVD this time. Round the back. Scoops him up, drops him down right onto that knee. RVD now on that middle rope. And Jerry Lynn. And God, he eats the cage. And Jerry Lynn back onto him again a second time off that cage. And Jerry. God, man, three times. And Jerry Lynn, man, well, if you're going to have this cage, you may as well use it. And, God, there's another shot. And a lovely drop kick there. And Jerry Lynn now, Irish whip. And comes back, catches RVD, and God, he's got the armbar locked in. As Rob Van Dam, the television champion, pulling his way out of it here. And RVD caught him there. He scoops him up, slams him down. And, oh, and RVD is firing back up here. 
I do a lovely little super kick there. And RVD. And oh, nobody home there. I say this is two out of three falls. Escaping the cage does nothing. As Jerry again sends him right into that cage. And Jerry Lynn is stalking RVD here. And Jerry flies off. Huge missile drop kick there. As Jerry Lynn knows. And Jerry back up to the feet here. And he's just, oh, he was going to jump, but he decided against it. And he has got him locked in this armbar. Good God. How much of this can RVD take? How much is too much? Good God, man. RVD needs to get out of this. And God, that was nearly a bad one for him there. As RVD right on to him. And God, look at Rob Van Dam now, man. Try to take it to a ground game. Can you blame him? And well, trying to get a little cover in there. As it's RVD thinking here. So he's going up the middle rope here. And oh, nobody home. As Jerry goes around the back. And now the sleeper hold. <coughs> oh my God, the sleeper hold's locked in now. God, man, can RVD take this? As RVD, God, by the jawbreaker this time. As scoops him up, Jerry though over the back and drops him down. And Jerry Lynn is stalking Rob Van Dam right now. As RVD getting up to his feet and Jerry's gone. As he's going to spike him here. And oh, there's the pile driver. Spiking Rob Van Dam right on the top of his head. And Jerry Lynn, night of the first fall here. And oh my God. Jerry Lynn, how did he not get the first fall there? Oh, look, you can't even climb the cage when you turn that off. That's terrible. As Jerry Lynn now, and oh, RVD. Jerry. Because these are two guys, man, that will give it everything they've got as the cage is used again. As Jerry now, and oh, too much. And Jerry Lynn. Determined to take the championship that Rob Van Dam holds so dear. The RVD though switches him out, sends him into the corner. As Rob Van Dam scoops him up, slams him down. How the hell is he meant to do this? Is he going for the split legs here in the cage? And how did he not get caught there? And God, look at RVD just stomping into him. And oh, and oh, and a vintage Rob Van Dam there. As oh, and Jerry with a kip up right back up to his feet. And oh, what a lovely shot there. As God. And now, and goes round. And for a third time, for a third time, this armbar is locked in. Good God, how does Rob Van Dam take the pain? Oh my God, how does he take it? How does he take it? And he can't take it! And Rob Van Dam 
just tapped out there. As, oh, goes round the back. And goes round the back. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. And he's got him in the sleeper hold. As, God, RVD there. Nearly got caught right out. As up. Jerry, though. Oh, dropped him right back down. Is RVD getting back up to his feet now? Is Jerry Lynn catches him? Bullseye in the middle of the ring. And go oh, and RVD nearly get caught there. And go oh, lovely springboard there. And Jerry Lynn, that might have taken some out of him as well. As Jerry now. The shot right to the leg. And another one. And Jerry Lindman is taking it to Rob Van Dam. As the RVD right into that cage. He kicks him right back down again. As now he takes a shot at the leg. And... Is RVD thinking here as, oh, go monkey flips him right into the corner. As, and oh, wait a minute, RVD, RVD, and oh, the five star frog splash connected. And God, just like that, it's one each. As they'll back up to their feet, and Jerry Lynn. Goes around and oh, he's going to arm bar. Oh my god, RVD pretty much just tapped out to this. As Rob Van Dam trying to get his way out of it here. And God, look at these back and forths. As into the corner. God, elbows him out. And Oh, what a knee right in the gut there. And man, oh man, these two. Going at it. As Jerry Lynn. Wants him back up on his feet. Puts him off the cage again. And God, now he's up on the top rope as Jerry Lynn is on the top rope and another huge missile drop kick. And look at him, look at RVD right in the eyes. Is RVD though? And God slams him down again. Oh my God. And Jerry Lynn with these stomps into the back of the head. And oh, and man, right to the gut. This is for the television title, man. It is the opening contest. As Jerry Lynn, God, puts him right off it again. That cage has been utilised. And RVD. Oh. Down with the arm drag. As Jerry Lynn catches him. Scoops him up. And oh, spikes him. Spikes him with the pile driver again. And that could do it. Jerry Lynn. Could have the match won now. And oh my god. In what world? RVD is Jerry Lynn. God with a springboard with that leg drop there. As Jerry picks him back up to his feet. Look at these right hands again. As, and God again, man, right off that cage. As Jerry 
A round again, man. Good God. As he's trying to lock him in here. But, oh, Rob Van Dam is refusing to tap. He is refusing to tap again. As, oh, Jerry, over the back. Drops him down. And Jerry Lynn is feeling it now. As Jerry Lynn is stalking Rob Van Dam right now. As, oh, RVD scooped onto him. And Rob Van Dam takes it to a ground game. And well, going into a quick cover there, but it's going to take more than that. As back up to the feet. Oh, switched them round there. As Jamie Lynn waiting for RVD up to his feet here. As goes around. The sleeper hold is in. God, can he take it? Can he take it? God, I don't know if he can. As, and, oh, Jerry Lynn had to let it go. God, look at that. My God. What does it take to put Rob Van Dam down? As comes around. And, and good God, what a DDT that was. And Jimmy Lynn, and God again, man, right off that cage. Jimmy Lynn, man, is doing everything he can possibly think of here. Jesus. And Jimmy Lynn is taking it to him here. Nope. As Jimmy, though, over the back, drops him down again. Good God, man. As RVD switches him out. Jimmy Lindo catches him. God, that shot right to the arm. As RVD and Rob Van Dam. Go! Just planted him with the DDT there. And now into the corner. And no, oh, Rob Van Dam might be looking for this again. Is RVD now? Shoots up and springboards right onto him. And RVD not finished here. As God, man, another one of those monkey flips. As back up to the feet. As whoa, and Jerry caught him with the fireman's carry. As Jimmy Lynn. Got hold of him for a third time. And another spike pile driver. Good God. And Jerry Lynn goes into the cover. The two. And Jerry Lynn. Good God, man. Jerry Lynn and Rob Van Dam strike again. Oh my God. RVD tapped out to the armbar, which he had no choice, man. That arm was going to get ripped out if he didn't. Then a five-star frog splash tied up the scores. These men continued to kick out of everything. What a way to open, barely legal. Good God, I believe that was the armbar there, that as well. Rob Van Dam tapped out for the first fall. A five-star frog splash equalised it back up. And then it took three pile drivers. Ladies and gentlemen, Jerry Lynn is the new ECW television champion. What does that mean for Rob Van Dam? Well, we have dismantled the cage. But as for the mayhem that's to unfold, that is far from over. Ladies and gentlemen, Public Enemy and the Dudley Boys.
They have been having a fight. Seems to be who is the tag team, who is the masters of pretty much tables and mayhem out of these two teams. Well, we are going to find out. Devon has got a couple of solo victories over both of these men. They get laid out this past week on ECW. As for tonight, though, it's all four men will be in the ring at the same time. It will be contested under extreme rules. It is the Public Enemy versus the Dudley Boys. Two teams that are former tag team champions. And there they are. Could be the most violent team ECW has ever seen. But the Dudley Boys and Public Enemy are about to go to war. Well, we've still got a few more title matches tonight. We've seen one title change hands. This is non-title, people. As Devon, straight away, man, right onto Rocko Rock. Drops the elbow on him as Bubba with Johnny Grunge. And, well, Bubba and Devon taking charge early on here. As Grunge try to fight back, Devon might want to stop shouting at the crowd as much as the Dudleys like to do that. And man, the Dudley boys are laying a beat down right now. As Johnny Grunge trying to get back into it here as Rocko Rock just got taken out. And no, oh, there's a Bubba bomb on Bubba. Johnny, bit of the literal piss. And... God, well, Johnny Grunge is definitely getting a fight back on. Rocco Rock now starting to get a fight back here too as he scoops up. Devon bombs him. Johnny Grunge drops Bubba. God, just like that. And well, Rocco Rock. And what's he looking for? And God, he's got a bat. Devon, though, takes that away from him. And God, these two are fighting over that weapon. As that weapon is bouncing all over the place. Well, they're outside the ring now. There's Bubba and Grunge still on the inside. As, oh God, look at Rocco Rock and oh, right on the floor. As Big Bubba's on that middle rope. Oh, Rocco Rock's got that bat and right off the back as Bubba comes off the middle rope. Oh, man. And Devon, though, drops Rocko Rock there. As Bubba. Oh, just bounced into each other there. As caught. And Grunge just drops Bubba. Rocko Rock kicks out that pin by Devon. This is the issue with watching the computer and Extreme Rules. They don't do anything, they just wrestle, they don't go for the weapons. As Johnny Grunge this time. This time he comes off with the axe handle. And they've got Bubba out the ring, leaving Devon on his lonesome. Rocko Rock, though, trying to get back up to his feet. Devon is in control of these guys right now. As he just scoops Johnny Grunge up. Big set out bomb there. And now just pounces his Luthou press right on Rocko Rock. And back up to the feet now. As Devon, oh, big one-handed spine buster there. As Johnny Grunge going up high. Devon though caught him. And Grunge though able to kick him off. Rocko Rock drops Bubba as Grunge flies through the air. Well, Johnny Grunge having a little dance. He might want to concentrate here. As and Bubba. Squashes Rocko Rock as Johnny Grunge just power bombs him and go! My God, that boot came out of nowhere. And oh, he went for another one. Grunge though catches him, sends him into the corner, and gorgeous oh, sandwiches Bubba right in there. As Devon though with a cheap shot punch there catches Grunge and 
Go! Drops him with a saving grace. As Devon hooks the leg. Rocco walks outside the ring. And oh! Johnny Grunge able to stay in it. As oh, Rocco Rock catches Bubba. As Grunge fighting back. Bubba dropped on that top rope. As oh. Grunge over the back. As the two of them can now double team up on Devon a little bit here. And Rocco Rock. Go! Bombs him! And drops the elbow. Well, not going for a pin there. Don't know how smart that is. As, oh, Devon. Little cheap shot there. There's Bubba back up to his feet here. I wish the AI had the common sense to go for weapons. As, no, wait, and Bubba, Uranaki. As, no, wait a minute. And, oh, down goes Devon. As, oh, big rake to the back there. And, oh, down goes Bubba. As Johnny Grunge goes to the outside, Rocco Rock trying to jump into a cheeky cover there. As, and, oh god, we've got wood. No, I've not, he dropped it. No, oh, he picks it back up. And he drops it again. Oh well, forget the wood. As Rocco Rock, again with another bomb. And down goes Bubba, side by side. Double power bombs in sequence. And the public enemy with a pin, but look at Grunge with one more for pleasure. Well, the Dudleys just get taken. They actually thought Devon might have had this match won with that move there. That's the move that got them a victory a couple of times. And well, ladies and gentlemen, those sequence of power bombs, man, there was one there right to Devon. Then look at this right here. One for Devon. One for Bubba. And then when the pin was put in, there was another one for Bubba just as the bell went. And the public enemy. With a victory tonight. Well, the table was brought out. I thought they might have. This is the problem with ECW. See, unlike Raw and Nitro, we can watch a lot of matches. But on this show, you can't really watch too many because... They don't have the common sense to go for weapons and then it doesn't really feel like ECW if they don't go for weapons. So, it ruins it a little bit. But either way, the public enemy got a victory over the Dudleys tonight. Something tells me they're not finished. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a challenge of some sort here. Where the hell did the panels come from on the entrance way? I won't lie, I pretty much downloaded this entrance because I feel like crap and couldn't be bothered really putting one together. I edited, edited that a little bit, but that's about it. But ladies and gentlemen, <coughs> New Jack pulled the upset on Taz a couple of weeks ago. And now they're going to fight tonight. Taz has even offered to put his FTW Championship on the line. He says that that is the heavyweight championship until <coughs> said heavyweight champion faces him and proves otherwise. Taz calls himself the world champion. The belt is not recognised as that. But Taz definitely seems to think that it is. Well, ladies and gentlemen. It's called the FTW Championship. It belongs to Taz and it is only recognised by Taz as an actual championship. ECW does not recognise it as an official belt. Apparently it is on the line here tonight. That's only because Taz 
said that it was. Don't think New Jack really cares, but another victory over Taz for New Jack would be fantastic for him as he's raking at the eyes there and pulls him back down again and New Jack is all over Taz right now. Taz goes, well, we all know he likes to try and fly. Just get kicked in the face there for his troubles. Taz over the ropes. And, oh, New Jack was ready for him there. And, oh, God, though, just about took the head off of him. And, God, what a headbutt there. Jesus. That headbutt there, my God damn. So he grabs a hold of him on the outside and the overhead, belly to belly. And, God, man, this time in the back of his head. And, God, New Jack just keeps getting right back up. And, God, man, a novel lights this time. And, my God, New Jack again is getting right back up. As, oh, New Jack. As, Oh, God, man, Taz there. He's getting back up to his feet here. And, God, look at you, Jack, trying not to get suplexed down the floor again. And, oh, Taz, though, gets dropped face first right out of the floor. And now New Jack looking for some toys under that ring. He's got a steel chair and he off of time. Taz though, he will shove him off there. Taz grabs a hold of that steel chair. New Jack though ready for him, sends him right back over the ropes. And oh, stuns him down right on that top rope. And New Jack. God, caught him there. God, man, these guys are all over each other. New Jack with Taz on the outside. Oh, Pale drives him. It's Taz, man. He will push him off there. And oh well, there's the table that the Dudleys in Public Enemy didn't use. As oh, down goes New Jack. As New Jack trying to get back up to his feet here. As he's back into the ring. And got a chair right off the midsection there. As that chair right off the ribs, New Jack. Try to get up to his feet here. As Taz grabs a hold of him. And God, there's that capture suplex. Why can't you lead this anymore? And oh, Taz has got that chair again. And God, right off the back, exactly what he done to Taz. Oh, why can't you lead the table the way you used to be able to? As, oh, you Jack, pulling that table away. As, and, oh, it didn't work out for him. Dropped face first, right onto that table. His Taz down, you Jack's going to take advantage of this. As, oh, lands on him. And God, Taz, man, just flattened into that table, barely able to kick out there. And oh, and God drops him again. And good God, man, New Jack catching Taz off guard again, man. Could he pull the upset tonight? 
Back up to the feet. And New Jack is on a roll right now. And look at Taz, man, rolling to the outside. New Jack, man, almost pretty much has his number. And, oh, well, they're back into the ring here. And, oh, but that Kendall stick, man, he was ready for him there. As Taz now sees the chair that New Jack set up, man, head first. As that table's been put in the corner, something Taz definitely likes to do. As he's got that stick again, man, Jesus. And well, might not be looking good. For the original gangster right now. Who gets sent right into that table. His oh, New Jack switches it out. Go! And oh! Through the table! And oh! Got caught there. Tazlo catches him. And go! Caught him with another capture suplex there. New Jack went to use a pair of brass knucks as Taz is stalking him. Good for the Taz mission, but New Jack. God. Oh. And go. Just took the head off of him there. And they're back and forth between these guys. And Taz. Picks him up, just so he can beat him about the ring right now. As Taz is just throwing him about. And it is not looking good for the original gangster right now. As Taz goes behind. <coughs> oh man, and there's the Taz Plex. And Taz now stalking New Jack. And Taz goes behind and go oh, drops him on his head again. Don't know what happened there, a little bit of glitch out. And oh, wait a minute, Taz not going for a cover here. Got that Kendall stick. God! Jesus! And what is wrong with Taz, man? The guy is insane. It's, look at you, Jack, trying to roll away. Oh, right off the midsection there. Good God. Taz has lost his mind. Just beating the hell out of you, Jack. As Taz now on the outside. God, man. And back into the ring they go. And New Jack, man, is out of it right now. And can you blame him? As Taz goes behind. And there's the Taz mission. It's locked in. As, and, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Look at New Jack. And New Jack fight his way out of it. And oh, the brass knocks! The brass knocks! He landed them with the brass knocks out of nowhere. And oh, good God! I thought it was over. I thought he'd KO'd them. And oh, look at New Jack. He's going to go for the finish. He's going to go for the finish. And, oh, look at Taz, though. As well. And Taz. And Jesus. Where the hell is Taz going? Good God, Taz has got those 
Those steps. My God, man. Those steel steps are in hand. As New Jack is up to his feet. And God! And Taz grabs a hold of him again. And another capture suplex. As it is looking pretty dominant right now. It's, oh, New Jack over the back. Drops him down. And New Jack going up the top rope. <coughs> oh my God. Could New Jack pull this upset again? And oh, he landed on him. And New Jack. New Jack caught Taz. He caught him again. Taz was thinking too much, too hard about trying to punish him instead of just going for the finish. He was so hell bent on punishing New Jack. As well, New Jack is going to grab that championship belt, which is not recognised at all by ECW or Paul Heyman, as the bloodied face of New Jack is holding Taz's own championship belt. Oh my God, Taz. Oh my, we thought he was angry before. What the hell is Taz going to be like now? Well, ladies and gentlemen, our title matches tonight have definitely been some surprises here at Belly Legal. And well, this team now has a name. Back in the day, it was Shane Douglas, Bam Bam Bigelow and Chris Candido. They were known as Triple Threat, but now along with Mike Awesome, they're not calling themselves World Championship wrestlers. They are now simply the Fatal Four. As Bam Bam Bigelow came out to stand by his, his old little buddy, Candido had been looking for a tag team partner. And Candido finally found a partner in Big Bam Bam Bigelow. As the Impact players... Definitely going to have their hands full tonight. They've been able to deal with Chris Candito, no problem, but Bam Bam Bigelow is a whole different force. Can the Impact players retain these Tag Team Championships tonight? We saw Rob Van Dam, Mr. Television title, lose that belt tonight. We saw Taz lose his own custom championship. Hope Raven's looking forward to his main event. As here we go, Lance Storm. And Bam Bam just bammed him, man. Dropped him down. As Bam Bam Bigelow. God, is all over Lance Storm right now. And... Jordan, the big man with a drop kick. And Bam Bam Bigelow. It's all over Lance Storm at the start of this match. And the Impact players, man, they would hate to lose tonight. And oh, the shot to the midsection there. As Bam Bam just throws him off. And well, uh, Lance Storm goes and tags in. Just incredible. Can you blame him? As big drop kick there, man. Didn't even drop him. And look at the right hands, man. As I... Oh, a big shot to the back of the head, though. Floors the big man. As scoops him up. Oh, good God. What were you thinking? Picking him up like that. 
And well, Candido wants tagged in. I think just incredible will be a lot happier now. As he catches him, just takes Candido down. And just incredible is all over Candido. And oh god, onto the arm. Well, this is more like uh, just incredible. Landstorm no fight well they can take Chris Candido because they've done it for weeks. Every tag team partner he came across wasn't getting the job done. From Nunzio to Stevie Richards. Not Nunzio, little Guido. <laughs> Gotta use his ECW name. As Candido. Dragging him right over to the corner now. Yeah, he's just gonna tag the big man back in. Gonna let Bam Bam deal with this one. And God drops him. And now look at Justin Incredibles that like he was trying to drag him over to the corner. Yeah, he's just gonna walk over, I think. As he makes the tag to Landstorm. And God, Landstorm. Gonna try and keep the big man down, that's for damn sure. Ah, he's down on the ground now, Lad Storm. As I said, got to try and keep him there. Keep hitting him and hitting him hard. Until Bam Bam just gets up and takes him down in one hit. And into the corner. Ah, looks like we're going to see a bit of double team here. It's the double Irish whip and go! Oh, both men take Lad Storm down. It's Bam Bam Bigelow. Pulling Landstorm right back up to his feet just so Candido can get right back into him here. As he scoops him up, drops him down on the rope. And well, Chris Candido, maybe being just a bit too cocky right now. And God, look at these shots. As he sends Landstorm to the outside. And well, uh, Candido on the apron right now doesn't appear to be finished. As Candido. Yep, doesn't have a. Uh, no, I think he had second thoughts there. As he throws Landstorm up the entranceway. As well, Landstorm though caught him with a low kick. As. And God! Just like that, Candido is down. Sending them back to the ring here. Uh, as Landstorm. I say their goal should be simple. Don't let Candido make a tag. Well, which to be fair, it's going to be very hard to do on the outside of the ring. As Landstorm. They're back in. Bam Bam is screaming for the tag. And they are going to try and keep Candido in here. That is for damn sure. There's Landstorm now up onto that middle rope. And Landstorm. Going to come off. And oh, Candido! He ran underneath him there. It's Candido now. Grabbing a hold of Landstorm. And oh, he's taking him up right back to the corner. Landstorm's trying to stop it, man. They want to keep Chris Candido in this match for as long as possible. As well, Candido, though, catches him off guard. And Landstorm trying to stop Candido. And Candido catches the foot as he shoves him down. And look at Candido into the crab. Oh, God, he's got Landstorm. And oh, Landstorm. Flipping out of it there, right into a cover. Candido, though, is out of it. And Candido, the big right hand there. And scoops him up. And look at the strength of Chris, Can Chris? Chris Candido right now. Oh, Landstorm's legs are waving about. And God, man, Candido. 
As look at Lance Storm though, just gets right back up, grabs a hold of him, takes him down. And Bam Bam wants tagged in. As Lance Storm. Uh, I think he had something on his mind there, but he might have changed his mind. Because he might want to get back into the ring, because Candido is crawling over his corner. As both men back face to face, Lance Storm just grabs a hold of him. And God, man, set out power bomb. And Candido, man, able to back himself right out of that pin. And oh, Candido landed an elbow there as he grabs Lance Storm now. Trying to go for a power bomb of his own, but Lance Storm punching his way out of it. And oh, low kick to the knee. And oh, shot right to the ears. As Candido again scoops him up. And oh, the set out power bomb by Chris Candido. And Candido falls into the corner. As Candido right now is all over the joint. And Chris Candido lands Storm standing with his back turned. And oh god man he's lucky he dodged that drop kick right in the back of the head. As Lance Storm is stalking Chris Candido here. And god there's the super kick. And just like that this one could be over. As Lance Storm hooks the leg. Bam Bam is in though. As look at Justin Credible. Oh, able to drop. Bam Bam down there. Caught him man when he wasn't looking. And now is the chance. Now is the opportunity to take care of Chris Candido. Bam Bam is down. As Candido has got nobody to tag. As he's trying to fight back here. Swips around. And oh, lovely move. Takes him down. And Gladstorm able to make a quick tag. Just incredible is in. As he just drops Candido. And now picks him up. The belly to belly. And just incredible. Off the middle rope. Nobody home. Look at just incredible though, man. Just sends him right back into the corner. Bam Bam needs to get back up on that apron. Candido just ate the middle turnbuckle. And... Oh, there's another super kick. We're not going for the cover. That could be a mistake. Picking him up and planting him with the DDT as well. And there's an elbow. As you can see, Bam Bam is back up on his feet now. As just incredible. Looking for that finishing touch. And there's the tombstone. And Lance Storm, man, he's not up. As there's the cover. Candido is most definitely out of this. But God, man, Bam Bam just took care. He took care of the goddamn official. Never mind the pin. Bam Bam just dropped his entire body on everybody. Well, Candido is out of it right now. As, oh wait, just incredible. Going for a steel chair here. As, oh, he was able to roll out the way. As, oh, managed to push that chair away. Goes behind and big German suplex to just incredible. And Chris Candido is busted open. Is Candido now with a snap suplex? Candido should really be making a tag right now. I think Candido, man, he's trying to prove to himself here, never mind anybody else. As Candido has got him in position up top. And 
God, man, just incredible. Not looking so incredible right now. Middle of the ring. Oh, God. As Candido up to the middle rope. And oh, there's Lance Storm, though. Has gone. But he rolls over. And there's the tag. The big man is back in. And just incredible is just lying there. As Bam Bam comes in, scoops him up, and God drops him down. And Bam Bam Bigelow has just came in, and there's the Bam Salt as he hooks the leg. Where's Lance Storm? And just like that, Bam Bam Bigelow got tagged in. Two moves, the match is over. Just incredible, should have went for the pin off of that super kick because by the time he went for that tombstone, Bam Bam Bigelow was back up. And this move here, do not know how Just Incredible kicked out, but as soon as Bam Bam was tagged in, he walked in, he picked him up, done one move, landed the big moonsault, and it was over. <coughs> and Chris Candido, who took Probably his fair share of the beating in that match. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the team is now known as the Fatal Four. Mike Awesome is still to be in action tonight against his oldest enemy. Chris Candido and Bam Bam Bigelow are the new tag team champions. And can Shane Douglas become ECW heavyweight champion tonight? Well, it's all about the Fatal Four now. New Tag Team Champions. And Mike Awesome. Mike Awesome is now... This is nothing to do with titles, man. This is just a lot of history. Mike Awesome. The Saddle Tanaka. They are going to go at it. And this match has been made. Falls count anywhere. This match does not have to end inside the ring. These two always fought over that heavyweight championship. It's nothing to do with that tonight. It is just pure history. As here we go. And Mike Awesome just goes right for him. And Mike Awesome taking it to Tanaka here. It is false count anywhere. Still got that three-way dance main event to come. And Raven defends the title against Shane Douglas and Rhino. And Mike Awesome. And God, man, Mike Awesome is dominating right now. As all of the ropes. And oh, Tanaka finally gets a hit in. So he grabs Mike Awesome, drops him on that knee. It said a lot of history between these guys. As Tanaka. To their feet. God just drops Mike Awesome down again. As Tanaka goes behind and a big German suplex. Into the cover. Mike Awesome shoots back up to his feet, these two. And God, look at that armbar. And, oh, keeping a hold of each other there. As Tanaka right back on to him. As Tanaka off the ropes. Oh, just a little bit of exercise. As Tanaka 
Going to lodge that mullet through the air by the looks of it. And around he goes. And Mike Awesome is, oh, here we go. And, oh, there was me thinking they were going to the outside. Maybe not. Mike Awesome, man. Big knee to the gut there. But, oh, right into Tanaka, man. Just jumps up, kicks his head off. And, oh, God, nobody home there. That's uh, awesome. Into the corner. And, oh, and, oh my God, the strength. Goal, down goes Tanaka. And that may have taken more out of Mike Awesome than you think. Uh, he's back up to the feet. And, oh, caught him out there. As Tanaka. Man, this is false count anywhere, but they're not leaving the ring. They're not even going for weapons. These two are straight up wrestling right now. As a big tornado DDT. As he hooks the leg off of that. Awesome though. Kicks out. And the crowd is actually on their feet here. Not utilizing weapons as you would expect. Instead, these guys are actually. Try to see who the best truly is. As Tanaka off the corner and boom! Down goes Mike. Awesome! And oh, he popped his shoulder again. My oh my. How long are these two going to continue to actually wrestle each other to see who the best is before someone... Goes for the weapon and oh, missed with that axe handle there. As both men staring at the eye. As Tanaka is. Oh, trying to go for a pile driver by the looks of it. Big backdrop by Mike Awesome. And whoa, Tanaka flips him over. As. And. Oh, a big shot to the chest there. And man, oh man, as Tanaka. And oh, Mike Awesome, though. As Mike Awesome has got a hold of Tanaka. And go! Oh, the running awesome bomb. Not going for a pin, though, man. He is continuing. To lay into him. Uh, he's back up to the feet. And here he goes. Scooping him up again. And this time, a proper sit out. Awesome bomb. And he hooks the leg. And Mike Awesome just defeated Tanaka. My God, this match was no disqualifications. Falls count anywhere. But these two historic rivals stayed in the ring and actually wrestled. Who does that remind you of? They wanted to see who the better man truly was. No funny business. No weapons. No interference. And Mike Awesome defeated... His long-time rival after delivering two awesome bombs. Mike Awesome defeats Tanaka. The historic rivalry. Everyone was expecting tables, blood and chairs, but instead you got a wrestling match out of these guys. Once again, why you don't let the computer do no DQ matches. <laughs> oh well, big victory for Awesome. The Fatal Four. I've got the, uh, well, three, three of Victorious. Will Shane Douglas be? Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's main, uh, well, wait a minute. And, 
Well, we've been joined by Balls Mahoney here. We actually had a, a couple of a couple of good victories there, uh, I've got to say. The victory in that tag team match, teaming up with Tanaka. I also managed to pull one over uh, Mike Awesome as well, who we just saw victorious. Well, we've been joined by Balls Mahoney right now. I mean, I thought we were going into our main event. Well, Balls Mahoney's just grabbed a mic. He's saying how I'm off the match card after having two huge victories, two good matches. And well, wait a minute. And well, here comes Sabu. As Sabu enters the ring. And well, Sabu's grabbing the mic. He's not happy about being off the match card either. He's telling Balls, how about me and you go right now? Whoa, well, wait a minute, now, now who? And well, that's only one man. That is the Sandman. Well, Sam Balls Mahoney not happy at being off the match card. Apparently neither is Sabu. Is Sabu now. Has challenged Balls Mahoney and the Sandman is out here. And the Sandman is saying, I'm off the match card too. Make this a three way. And, what? and for the love of God, it's Stevie Richards. And Stevie Richards thinking, well, we're getting one through. Apparently, Paul Heyman has said, screw it, we've got enough time. We're about to have a four way dance. These four are just going to have a fight for no other reason than the fact they're not on the match card. And... God! Okay, we've got, a, we've got an extreme rules. Four-way dance. We're supposed to be having a three-way dance right now. We're having a four-way dance. <coughs> well, this match is for nothing more than the fact that these four have got nothing to do. As Sandman is all over balls right now as Stevie Richards and Sabu are going at it on the outside. Good God, man. And Sandman is all over him right now. So I had to look at my phone there. <laughs> and Sabu set off the ring post. So this is a four-way dance, which means it will go from four men to three men to two men to one man standing tall. No championships on the line. This is nothing more than four men who had nothing else to do as Stevie now sent off the ring post. I believe all pinfalls do have to take place inside the ring. As these four... Balls Mahoney, as we said, has had some good victories in recent weeks. As for the other three, we haven't really seen much of them. As Sabu, we saw him there, right through the air. And, well, Sab a Sandman outside the ring right now. Stevie Richards getting the atomic drops. As Balls Mahoney seems to just be watching on right now. Ah, he's laying in with the right hands. And Sabu takes Stevie Richards, drops him on the top rope. As Balls were holding man, three of these guys going at it in the corner right now. Stevie Richards trying to get back up to his feet. As Sandman just tossed out of the way. Now Sabu and Balls turn attention to each other. And God, man, look at the kicks by Sabu. And oh, Stevie now back into the frame. And Sandman comes flying back in too. We've got all four of these guys going at it in the corner right now. And God, Sabu eats the steps. And oh. And the Russian leg sweep, man, right onto that floor. <clears throat> man, we haven't even seen a weapon come out of play. These four are just beating the hell out of each other in the corner. <clears throat> oh, man. As well, oh, they managed to split away a little bit here. 
And oh, nobody home for balls there. I think he landed on his balls. And oh, there's Stevie's turn now as he eats the steel steps. Balls Mahoney sent back into the ring by the Sandman. And God, man, Sabu taking it to Stevie Richards on the outside. Balls Mahoney not doing too much better. Nope, spoke too soon. It's balls. Catches him there. As and oh, and Sabu and Balls Mahoney is firing back right on the Sandman here. God, face first into the canvas. As Sabu, oh, lovely moonsault there. As Balls Mahoney has got the Sandman up, and the Sandman is down. As oh, he's just raking at the eyes. As, oh, and a big atomic drop for the Sandman. As Sabu now sent to the outside. And now that just leaves Balls Mahoney all on his lonesome. As, here we go again, all these guys on the outside. And the Sandman's at the other side, getting a little rest period. And, oh, and balls, and, oh, Sabu, god damn, Sabu get dropped there, drilled into the floor, well, it's, needs to get him in the ring in order to pin him, as Sandman though, caught balls Mahoney, and, oh, DDT, The Sandman planted the DDT. He's not finished as he's going to go behind. And the white Russian leg sweep. And oh, Stevie just slammed Sabu into the floor again. Oh, Balls Mahoney still in it. And man, Sabu is not moving, man. He could be concussed after that huge slam that Balls Mahoney gave him on the outside. As, speaking of big slams, Balls Mahoney's got the Sandman. Oh, God! As Stevie Richards! And Stevie just bombed Sabu! And look at Balls Mahoney pouncing onto the cover. And God, Sabu, man! How the hell did he kick out? As look at Balls slamming his head. <coughs> and Sabu could be concussed. And Sabu, man. It's just, they seem to be battling over who gets to beat him up right now. And it looks like the two of them are going to do it. As the double team, man. Double Russian leg sweep there. And Stevie Richards going into a cover off of the double team. And Sabu, man, still kicks out. The guy can take so much as... Whoa! Sabu rolled out the way the kick there. As he pulls Stevie down. And Sabu rolling into a cover. Probably trying to give himself as best of a break as he possibly can. As... Oh! Balls Mahoney on the outside. Drops him in. Sabu! With a insult. And he's not finished. And a second one. And Sabu, man, with the multiple moonsaults there. As Balls Mahoney. Oh, just dropped the Sandman. Into a cover. Stevie, man, away to the outside. And we are one man down. The Sandman has been eliminated as Balls Mahoney is right on to Sabu. As Sabu. And Sabu having some retard problems. Stevie Richards trying to pull himself back up to his feet here on the outside, man. The Sandman is down on the outside. He has been eliminated by Balls Mahoney. Said it before, I'll say it again. These four men were not scheduled for anything tonight, so they've all just got into a brawl. 
Guys, oh, and oh, Sam Booman wasn't able to hold on. Guys, and oh, wait a minute, Sabu, prime position, centre of the ring. And Balls Mahoney is just going to sit back and watch as the camel clutch by Sabu is locked in. And Stevie is screaming for help. Balls Mahoney doesn't care. And oh, Sabu let it go. Well, Balls Mahoney though going to pounce onto the cover though. And the damage was done. Sabu couldn't hold it anymore. As Whoa well, Balls tried to scoop up Sabu. Sabu though. And man, well, Balls Mahoney's technically eliminated the other two men. What a victory this would be for Balls Mahoney. As Balls scoops him up and God just dropped his weight on him. And Sabu is most definitely not 100% right now, especially after the slam that Balls Mahoney gave him on the outside. As he sends him into the corner. This could be huge for Balls Mahoney, by the way. You think of the victory over Mike Awesome, the tag team victory over Bam Bam Bigelow and Mike Awesome. As he's climbing up high right now, he eliminated Sandman, he technically eliminated Stevie Richards. And, and God, man, what a move. And God, look at the Sabu's face. The Sabu, look at Sabu's face. He is busted open. As Balls, Balls, Balls. Oh, Balls. Just dropped Sabu right back up to his feet. Good God, Sabu just caught him and flips him out as Sabu falls into the cover, man. Sabu is heavily busted, man. That right hand from Balls Mahoney just busted him right open. God, we've still got a three-way dance to come. As Sabu, oh, and... God, Sabu, man, can't really see by the looks of it. And cut what an elbow. Sabu scoops under. And a big Northern Lights, the big balls, Mahoney. As Sabu, going to go, and he lands the moonsault as he hooks the leg. And Sabu, how did Sabu win this, man? The guy was nearly concussed. Oh, I was kind of rooting for Balls Mahoney there. Right here, how did Sabu win this after that happened? Good God, he was out of it after that. Even that, Balls Mahoney, how did he not get eliminated after the DDT and the Russian leg sweep? He still managed to kick out. It was Balls Mahoney that eliminated Sandman. De technically, I'd say Sabu done the damage that eliminated Stevie Richards, but it didn't stop Balls Mahoney from pouncing onto the cover. And Sabu somehow, someway, managed to pull this victory right out of his ass. And Sabu standing tall. Well. That was a four-way dance, which technically became a three-way dance in a one-on-one -on -one match, but now we've got a three-way dance to come. Ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. ECW Heavyweight Championship coming up next. <coughs> well, all right, man, it's main event time. This was the main event only a couple of months ago. And we are having it again. Rhino, Shane Douglas and Raven. When this match happened a couple of months ago, Cy Cyber Slam, I believe, it was Rhino who came in as champion. It was supposed to be Rhino versus Shane Douglas one-on-one. -on -one. Raven interjected himself into that, making it a three-way dance. And Raven was very sneaky in that match pulling the victory and becoming champion. Rhino has never received his rematch. Shane Douglas wasn't happy that his so-called title match was very quickly changed. So we've got a rematch now. Three-way dance. How this all came about. 
Well, it's been a good night for what we now know as the Fatal Four. Bam Bam Bigelow and Chris Candido are the new tag team champions. Mike Awesome defeated his biggest enemy, Masato Tanaka, one on one man in a wrestling match. And now Shane Douglas aims to become heavyweight champion by defeating that man, the Raven. This time last month, man, we saw Tommy Dreamer get dismantled by Raven. We haven't seen Tommy Dreamer since. Or Tajiri, for that matter. <laughs> After what happened in his match with Rob Van Dam. Well, here we go. ECW Championship on the line. It is a three-way dance. One man will be eliminated, making it one-on-one. -on -one. Which is technically how Raven won last time. <coughs> Shane Douglas eliminated Rhino, I believe, and Raven just snuck right in. As soon as Shane Douglas got the elimination, he snuck right up behind him and pulled the sneaky victory in that three way dance. As these three are going at it once again. None of them like each other. Don't count on seeing any alliances. As, as I say it, Rhino drops Shane Douglas. Drops Raven. And these guys are all over each other right now. As Rhino, after hitting Raven again, goes, concentrates on Shane Douglas, who just drops Rhino. And then see how Shane Douglas instantly turns his attention to Raven. And I say, these guys aren't looking to team up to take anybody out. It is a case of just everyone hit anything that moves. As Shane Douglas is down and Rhino turns his attention to the champion. As back round they go. Up and down. And Raven. And, oh, block out there. <clears throat> and look at Shane Douglas just picked his moment there, ran right up behind him, drops Rhino on his head, and then he scoops right over to Raven again. These three are just all going for each other every chance they get. As go oh, right into the back, man. God, with his knee. And then look at Rhino, who goes straight for Shane Douglas. Well, this match is extreme rules, it's a three way dance. It is the computer, so don't count on many weapons. As I look at Raven. Raven having a little rest while these two go at it. And down goes Shane Douglas. Have a look at Rhino. He sees Raven. And he's right on to him. And oh, big elbow there. And Raven... A sit-out scoop slam there to Rhino. And now Raven goes right for Shane Douglas. <coughs> oh, man. Apologise for the coffin. And Shane Douglas, man, rolling to the outside. As Raven... Snaps Rhino down. Going to take it to the ground game. And, oh, Rhino, though. Pops his head out of his ass. And back into the front face lock. As a door. Oh, that's not a move. That's just slamming someone's face into the canvas. As Rhino is wanting him on his feet here. But whoa, Shane Douglas. God. And Shane Douglas caught Rhino there. And he's right on to Raven now with these suplexes. And he's holding on as he's got Raven up. And God, man. As right on to Rhino. As he grabs a hold of him. And the Pittsburgh plunge connects. And Rhino could be out, especially after that huge overhead belly to belly. And Rhino is gone. He will not be winning his championship back tonight. And it is one on one. It is Raven and Shane Douglas. 
God, man, what a way for Rhino to go. That huge overhead, belly to belly, the athleticism of Shane Douglas to fly up and throw him there. Then he put all those suplexes in on Raven. As do the reverse DDT. As Shane Douglas. And God! And scoops him up again, drops him down with a neck breaker. And man, I can't believe how Rhino got eliminated, man. That was a huge overhead he took. They just picked him up, man. Gets him with a Pittsburgh plunge, and Rhino is gone just like that. These three have just been brawling at each other. But now it's one on one. It is extreme rules, but the computer doesn't go for weapons, and if they do, it's usually one. If you're lucky. You're lucky if they even use it. As Raven. Oh, God, and Raven with the Bulldog. Into the cover. And Shane Douglas, the franchise, kicks out. As Raven. And oh, Raven is stalking him. He's stalking him here. And Raven has got Shane Douglas. And the DDT. And that could do it. That could do it. And Raven retains. Not a great main event. I did like I did like how it all started. And I, oh, I wanted to see the big overhead, man. I wanted to see the huge overhead. The overhead belly to belly off that top rope. The Pittsburgh plunge was just icing on the cake because Rhino was out of it. But ladies and gentlemen, somehow, some way, Raven has actually retained in this match. I'm going to be honest, ladies and gentlemen, but I think when it comes to Raw and Nitro and Friday Night Revolution, it's okay to watch some matches. But at ECW, it's meant to be much more extreme. I think we're going to have to start trimming down how many matches we actually watch. Because not enough hardcore, man. There was definitely not enough hardcore on this show tonight. Could definitely have done a lot more with the matches. And the matches were still good. I think they were still quite entertaining, but... <clears throat> When you look at the first match that I played, got to think that it might have been a bit better if I'd played a couple of others. But uh, let me know what you think in the comments. But anyway, people, like, share, and subscribe, and leave those comments down below. I apologise, I am loaded with the cold, or the flu, for all I bloody know. Um, but I want to keep these videos going up, because the channel's been doing pretty well the last few months, you know. I've been getting at least a subscriber every day, which has been pretty good. So I want to try and keep that ball rolling. So, thanks for watching, people. Like, share, subscribe, leave those comments, and... What's next for the land of extreme and ECW? We will all find out together when I see you in the next episode. See you then.